Another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now today is Saturday. It's actually 5 p.m. right now. And my butt is at the house. Yeah, I'm at the house. It's all bad. It's all bad. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all know how I am. I just tell you like it is. And it's just where we at with it. So um, I got sent home today by the regional manager. My manager sent me home today. Sent my butt packing. That's right. Andrew got his butt sent home packing for stealing. That's right, I, I, I've been caught stealing uh, money, been caught stealing money, uh, not actual in the form of cash, but in, in, uh, in another form of stealing, they call it uh, stealing time off the clock, so, 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 basically, uh, I've been stealing time off the clock, so I'll tell you what happened, man, uh, basically, I woke up today, Woke up around 1 o'clock, man. Y'all know I get all my hours of sleep, y'all. Usually I do a video before work, but I woke up late today, so I didn't have no video for you. I just went straight to work and uh, got to work, clapped on, um, checked my loads to see where all they had me going, put all my stuff in the truck. Saw the first load was going to a uh, McDonald's, man. I was hungry. I ain't want no McDonald's, though. So, you know, it was a gas load. So, uh... The gas load was loading out of Burns, Tennessee. Now, I had test dispatch because to try to shorten my day up, you know, because I was trying to get home, man. On Saturdays, I try to get home, man. But to shorten my day up, so, so, I'm trying to explain it because y'all not fuel haulers. Uh, I usually get loaded right here in Nashville, but this particular gas load, 45 minutes out to get loaded, and then about... 15 minutes to where I was going to uh, to deliver. Okay, so I test dispatch. I was like, hey man, y'all got uh, some Nashville sourcing for gas, you know, just in case they can get it for the same price right here in Nashville, because at least I know here in Nashville, if I get loaded, you know, or, or if I go somewhere they ain't got no allocation, I can just go to the next rack, which ain't nothing but five minutes. You know, you, you just go to different racks right here in Nashville. But if I go to Burns, and they don't have no allocation. I got to drive 45 minutes back to Nashville to get loaded, then turn around and go all the way back out there. So I just dispatched. They said, you know, they started checking for me. So while they were doing that, I took my butt across the street to Burger King because I didn't want no McDonald's. <laughs> got some Burger King. Went through the drive through got a number nine big cup, root beer. They ain't got no Mountain Dew at uh, Burger King for whatever reason. They don't sell, uh, they only sell Pepsi products is what they told me, but... Got my food, came back to the truck. Regional manager was standing in front of the truck. Got out with my food in my hand. You know, at first I didn't even know, I didn't even realize or uh, recognize who he was. But when he said something, I recognized the voice. I was like, oh, oh, that's the regional manager. I, you know, said what's up to him. Asked him how he was doing. He said not good because uh, Andrew been still in time. So, you know, we had a conversation. And long story short, he told me to pack my stuff up, clock out, and, and, and go home. So, did what he said. I packed the truck up, logged out, you know, and uh, I, I was going to give him the keys to the truck, but he said he was going to talk to his boss and see what they want to do, so he didn't he didn't want the keys to the truck back, but I, I did give him all my paperwork, my BOLs and stuff that I hid, and uh, here I am at the house, so uh, I don't know if I said it in this video, uh, uh, I was accused of stealing time, so, you know, uh, I just stole like 10, 15 minutes to uh go across the street get this burger king which you know i guess that's not allowed so uh where are we at with this um you know uh you gotta understand that the the economy right now is real bad y'all see trucking companies going out of business left and right and uh nobody wants to pay a driver for for any more time then they have to be, especially if they're not being productive. So, so any 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 way that a tra a drive is, uh, I guess, going slow or being unproductive, they consider that as still in time. E e e like me going across the street to get the Burger King, still in time. Uh, let's say uh, maybe I take a different route to get to. Maybe uh, a destination, you know, I go some type of long route there, consider that it's still in time. You know, I'm, I'm just guessing. That ain't, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. I don't think about this stuff when I'm driving a truck. I'm trying to think of it from a business perspective. 
how a driver would be still in time or perhaps for example uh maybe a driver get finished early and he, he stay on the clock you know a little bit longer to get all of his hours you know i guess that would be considered still in time so so that's that's where we at with it so so for my fuel haulers out here to get paid by the hour uh, learn from me learn from me i'm i'm, I'm the one that's in trouble I no need to throw nobody else under the bus i'm the one andrew's the one in trouble you just learn from me what not to do okay don't be still in time understand they out everybody's watching you okay they, they 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 you know just do your job and go home even if you if you work like me i work three to three if you get done by 7 p.m just log out go home you know that that's what i would tell the driver now you know they now, now this truck drivers think of it that way Look, I'm gonna tell you how a truck driver think. All I know is I, I clock in at three, I get off at three. That's that's how I think about it. So, you know, I, I don't I don't see myself as still in time. I just see it as I work from three to three and at three o'clock the truck needs to be back for the next driver. So, you know, uh, if, you know, if I go super fast and get done early then you know it is what it is, but you know, that, that's where we at right now. So 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 I'm at the house. You know, like I said, I've been still in time off the clock, so I probably probably got to find a new job. Uh, nothing I can do about that. You know, only thing I can do is just educate y'all. Now, now, um, it did teach me a lot, a little, a little small lesson uh, outside of trucking. Now, I'm, I'm done with the trucking. That's 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 all I can tell you about the story. Now, no, from a financial aspect. Uh, this is why you can't be living paycheck to paycheck, okay? Because you never know when you're gonna get fired. Okay, now what y'all didn't know was I was supposed to go and get this apartment downtown October twenty first. Okay, now here we are. I think it's October the twelfth or thirteenth today. Uh, do you think I'm gonna get that apartment come the twenty first? Absolutely not. The the last thing I want to do is old Mister Charlie uh, two thousand dollars a month with no job. See. Now, I, look, I'm not getting no apartment, okay? And when it comes to this getting this house situation, at this point, if I ain't got 50 to 75% to put down, I don't even want the house. Because with this trucking industry, it's too risky, okay? It's, it's too, your job is too weighted on, 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 on other things that, you know, if, if you lose the trucking job, man, you're going to lose everything else. Now, I done been through this in 2020 before, okay? I lost my trucking job in 2020. Uh, out there in Memphis when I was renting the house yet. Well, I didn't lose a job. Y'all know my engine blew. Same thing, you know, you know, went through something similar. Except I had a whole lot of uh, uh, weight on me. I, engine blew. I had the freaking, uh, wait a minute, let me start up. To give y'all another example of how bad it was in 2020, I got that Challenger, okay? Five days after I got that Challenger from the dealership, my truck engine blew, okay? I had a blown motor on the $15,000 flat top. Five days after that, they got on the news and announced COVID-19, uh, okay? And they started shutting down the United States. So I didn't have no money coming in except for YouTube, of course. So so, so that's how bad of a situation I was in in 2020. So, so I, you know, back then, I, I, I see I would, I would never put myself in this situation. That's the insurance people calling me right now. They want to know why I didn't show up down in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. I was, I was, If I could be there, I, I would actually jump in the car and go, but I, I can't get to Georgia. I can't get to Georgia. Uh, <laughs> I can't get to Georgia in the next five minutes, so, you know, but that's them calling me right now. But uh, shout out to all my insurance adjusters out there. Yeah. I don't know what I was just telling y'all. Oh, the financial situation. So so I, I told myself I don't ever want to be in that situation again. So that's the reason why I ended up getting a backup truck uh, in case, you know, my engine blew again and, 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 and all our bills is relied on this $15,000 flat top. I want to always have a backup truck. Now, then I got a backup to the backup truck just in case both trucks go down. I got a third truck. So, so you know, but... Uh, then I, you know, did the motor carrier thing. But right now I'm a W-2 employee, so don't none of that matter. This, this is a totally different situation. So what I'm saying is, what if I was, uh, I had an apartment right now and uh, freaking car notes and credit cards up the butt right now and here Mr. Charlie is just sending me home. 
I ain't got no more income coming in. You think I could find another fuel hauling job right now? Absolutely not. No, no one's having. There is no fuel hauling jobs uh, in Nashville unless you unless you got your own truck. If you got your own truck, then you can lease on. I know some companies you can lease on to if you got your own truck, 2012 or newer. But other than that, I'm talking about W-2 employee job. There's nothing, okay? And then if, once they put this uh, on my, uh, I guess it'll go on like my PSP score. Is it PSP? What do they call that crap? PSP. Uh, no, it's called something else. High right. Is it yeah, high right? What they call DAC report? Yeah, DAC report. Yeah, once once they put on my DAC report, fuel hauler still in time got fired. I, I ain't gonna be able to get no no fuel hauling job nowhere around here. Not that I know of. Not not once all that go on the DAC report. So so my fuel hauling career is probably over with as far as uh W two employee. That that's if they get rid of me. I don't know if they're gonna get rid of me. They probably I I have no idea to be honest with you. I guess I know something Monday or Tuesday, but you know uh. Like I said, it's just a, a learning lesson for, for me and y'all, okay? Now, like I said, I don't have no type of financial burden. You know, I don't need no GoFundMes or nothing like that. I didn't, since I've been working this fuel hauling job, y'all didn't see me go buy anything, go finance anything. I don't have no apartment that I'm paying rent on, no cars that I'm paying rent. I don't have no bills. So, you know, financially, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Plus, I still got YouTube paying me. So, uh... What do I do next? That's that's what we at right now. Well, Andrew, what do we do next? Well, of course, I'm not going to wait on Mr. Charlie to figure out what they do. They'll let me know, I guess, Tuesday what the deal is on that. But I don't. I, I can't wait on them. You know, I understand. Hey, Andrew, you are still in time. This is the, 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 the consequence is we, we, we got to let you go. I'm totally fine. I understand. It is what it is. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person. That uh that stole some time off off the clock. So you know, pretty sure there's plenty of other drivers that 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 done, done it before. So uh, for me, my situation um, boy, I need a whole another career. That's what I need. I need another career, boy. That's what I boy. I tell you, boy, this trucking, boy. Look, man, you ain't finna raise no family on no trucking jobs. Okay, I, I'm just being. I just don't see it being done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You not finna raise no family. You ain't finna, you definitely ain't paying no 30 year mortgage, which I already knew that right off the top. That's why paying some 30 year mortgage with a trucking job, y'all know I, I didn't even expect uh, the job to last more than 10 years with the way the trucking is changing and this EV stuff coming in. So, uh, what am I doing from here for it? Man, I'm going with my original plan. All the money I get is going to investments. There's a stock market. I need my money working for me. And I don't need nobody bills. I don't want to pay nobody rent. Okay, I don't need nobody apartment for my women out there. And there's a lot of y'all that's around me. I'm gonna start sending my text messages out, letting all y'all know I'm broke. I ain't got no more money. I just, I don't know if I'm fired. I'm about ninety percent fired right now. So, so I ain't got nothing for you. I don't expect to see me. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm going to tell all of them I got fired. Just say, hey, what happened? Hey, man, I, I got fired, man. I got sent home. I, I can't come see you no more. Uh, I'm broke. I'm, I'm back down to zero now. Now, I don't know what to tell you. So, I got to cut all of them off. Uh, what else? Uh, don't get comfortable at the house. If you get in my situation, you just perhaps got fired. Uh, don't, don't, don't let it, first of all, let everybody in the house know, hey, this is what's going on. You know, I understand bills do. I don't know. what well, if y'all paycheck to paycheck, then, of course, y'all don't know how y'all will pay that. Y'all have to figure that out. You know, me, I don't have no bills. The only thing I got to come and do is a cell phone bill. You know, I, that's why I don't pay car insurance. I don't need, I don't need pink. Look, I, I'm so cheap, it don't make no sense. I ain't trying to pay nobody. Not, not, not with no CDL. I don't want the bills with no seat. I don't want to pay car insurance. I ain't trying to pay nobody apartment, water bill, cable, lights, nothing. And if I can get away with not paying a cell phone bill, I'm going to do that. Matter of fact, as soon as my family come through here, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get on the family plan. Yeah, yeah, add a line. Yeah, let me give you $20, $30 a month to add a line. Yeah, I'm trying to, I look, I don't want to pay nobody or nothing, okay? Hit up Justin Lewis, told him what happened. I said, hey, man, uh, this is the situation, man. Uh, Got accused of stealing. 
Y'all already know Justin Lewis. He just Andrew. Andrew. I ain't gonna tell you what he said, you know, because I y'all know how Justin Lewis talks. But uh, other than that, man. Oh, and as far as the people that sent their uh, paycheck for me to review, uh, I'm not gonna put your paychecks on here, even though you know don't nobody know who y'all are. I don't want to get any drivers in trouble. Uh, just let this be on me. This is all Andrew right now. I don't want to, because I was thinking, you know, if I still did y'all paycheck reviews and it shows how much y'all got paid on a particular date, the company can go and investigate y'all and, and make sure, you know, I just don't want y'all to be in no type of trouble. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do no paycheck reviews, anything like that, for the fuel haulers that did send me their paycheck, their review. So y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. It's gonna be a okay. Andrew's the one in trouble. Let me be in trouble by myself. Okay, I'm gonna be all right. I don't, like I said, I don't need no GoFundMe's. We don't need to raise no money. Okay, if the suit and tie guys decide, okay, Andrew, we'll give you another chance. We'll just do a write up or something. Then we'll go from now. Then Andrew will learn his lesson. Of course, I ain't. I won't be stealing no time. Nothing like that. I shoot. I just, I don't know me. I know they're gonna be watching me day after day, but I don't know if I get that opportunity. You know, I, I I highly doubt it. I'm not waiting for it. But uh, so that's what we had on Saturday. Now, now for my lease drivers, uh, you probably be celebrating today. So, uh, wait a minute. There ain't no more lease drivers. Huh? Ain't ain't no more lease drivers. Well, somebody gonna be happy today. I, I don't know who, but somebody out there will be happy. I come back with another video and 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 you know discuss what what's the next step for Andrew. I gotta figure it out myself. Figure it out myself. I know I got that envelope in now. I might have, I might have, I might have to go over to me and show the money in that envelope because I see where this is going. <laughs>